get on with the show. Wasting time? Ha! <laughs> I'll have you know that I was in fact going through a very rigorous training exercise. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because it looked like you were just standing there pretending you were flying a race car by the sound of it? Well how would you know what a spaceship sounds like? I think I can make an educated guess and say that it doesn't sound like anything out of NASCAR. Whatever. Is something upsetting you, sir? Uh, it's just that... I'm gonna go see episode one tomorrow. And this day won't die! What was that, sir? The day's moving too slow. You'll live, sir. Besides, it's just the prequels. Don't diss my prequels! Okay, okay, okay! Calm down, sir. Say you're sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. Good. Cause you're gonna come see it with me. Gah! Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Feet. It is Friday, February 10th, and uh um not not too much news going on this week. But when life gives me lemons, I bitch until I get chocolate. Seriously, I hate lemons. What about lemonade, sir? I get that residue stuff stuck in the back of my throat. Anyways, first news story. The Kinect Star Wars Xbox 360 bundle finally has a release date of April 3rd, 2012. With a price tag of $450, the bundle will have a 320 gigabyte hard drive an R2-D2 themed Xbox 360, a C-3PO themed controller, and a white Kinect with one copy of Kinect Star Wars. That is a sweet looking Xbox. Are you going to get one, sir? I just might, Ivo. Or I might just wait and buy the Xbox itself on eBay. I'm still a little iffy on Kinect Star Wars. Next. The PlayStation Network has been renamed to the Sony Entertainment Network. What? Uh, they changed the name, sir. Why? Sony made a statement saying, This transition is based on Sony's goal to enhance its unique digital entertainment offering. A PSN sounds cooler! Your Sony Entertainment Network account also enables uses of Sony's non-game services. SEN sounds like an STD! Such as Music Unlimited, video store of the PlayStation Store, and Play Memories Online, previously called Personal Space, across a variety of network-connected devices. WHY DO I GET THE FEELING THIS IS GONNA MAKE ANONYMOUS HACK US AGAIN?! The, uh, 4.10 PS3 firmware update that made all these changes went live on the 8th. WE SHOULD HAVE EXPECTED THEM! Moving on to the next news story, the Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition is now available. Ooh, you have my attention. The Ultimate Edition comes with the original game, duh, as well as all four DLCs. Awesome! Because I'm one of those people who never played it thinking, oh, this is stupid. But then I played Skyrim and then I was like, yeah, maybe I should give it a chance. Well, now is the perfect time to buy it, sir. And it can be picked up on Steam, Amazon, or GameStop. Nice. This will give me something to do until some Skyrim DLC comes out. Speaking of DLC, Final Fantasy XIII 2 had its first round of DLC released this week. What? That game came out a week ago! The DLC is called Lightning and Master Sergeant Amadar. It explores the conflict between Lightning, her former superior officer Amadar, and Sarah and Noel. What, are they supposed to fight or something? Yes, sir. Woot. After Lightning and Amadar have been defeated, they can be added to your player's party. Yeah, 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 that's all fine and dandy, move on. I take it you're not the biggest Final Fantasy fan, are you, sir? I've played 13, 
and I didn't really like it. Oh, what about Lord of the Rings? Now that is something I like. Well, a group of modders are creating something called the Middle Earth Role Playing Project, or MERP for short. MERP? MERP. <coughs> MERP. MERP is a mod for Skyrim that will follow the main quest of Frodo Baggins and the Fellowship, chronicling their adventures from the Shire all the way to the fires of Mount Doom. The team is gunning to include as much lore, weapons, creatures, and famous battles for players to experience as possible. Wait. Mod for Skyrim? You mean it's only available on the PC? Yes, sir. No! Sir? Are, are you okay? <laughs> it's not fair. The CFO of Electronic Arts, Eric Brown, will be leaving the company on the 17th of February. David Jaffe will be leaving Eat Sleep Play now that Twisted Metal has been completed to start a new studio. Sleeping Dogs, formerly known as True Crime Hong Kong, was announced with a live action trailer and is due to release this year. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm better now. What's next? There's nothing really left, sir. Ah, eh, oh well. I guess that'll wrap things up for this week, folks. Join us next week where hopefully I won't be as depressed at the fact that I don't have a good PC. Until then, you can follow me on Twitters, at GUDarkFeed, for all the random ramblings that I'm sure to post there. Like behind the scenes, deleted scenes, extras, you know, all that good stuff. Also, I'm starting a question of the week sort of thing. This week's question is, Sith? or Jedi? Who do you fight for and why? You can leave your answers down below in the comments and if yours is really good and well thought out, I will read it on next week's Dark Feed. Until then, I'm Dark Sky and this has been Dark Feed.